Now, our Citroen's mechanicals are in great shape, but to make our commercial vehicle truly useful, the load area needs to have some lighting and a power supply. Most vans like this make do with a 240 volt mains hookup to power appliances like fridges, but that's no good when you're on the move or away from a power source, and I want our van to be better equipped. So I'm going to use this rather clever inverter charger system. Now the idea is when you have your power hookup, your 240 volts connected to the van, this device here will put some of that power into things like the lights and the fridge and stuff, but it will also trickle charge your auxiliary battery. But then, should you end up in a position where you don't have any power hookup, then of course this device takes some of the charge from the battery, inverts it into 240 volts AC. That means you can still use your lighting and your fridge, anything else, without the power hookup. It's very clever. This kit provides 240 volts AC, which is effectively mains electricity. So you can do the installation yourself, but you will need to have it checked by an expert before you turn it on. As well as providing a power supply for ancillaries, the system will also allow me to fit mains lighting into the back of the van. Now, back in the day when this van first rolled out of the factory, incandescent light bulbs were pretty much the only choice for interior lighting. Unfortunately, they're very inefficient, they don't last very long, and they produce quite a bit of heat. But here in the modern age, we now have the LED, or the light-emitting diode. Now, they are fantastically efficient because they run so cold. They're very bright, but also this particular unit lasts for about 50,000 hours, which is about 17 years of working days. Now, I know that these light units are going to go somewhere in the ceiling, but before I worry about that, I need to think about all that power electronics and where that's going to go. First job is to find a home for the new auxiliary battery. Now, I'm pretty happy with the position of the battery going there. Obviously, I'll need to bolt it down securely, maybe with a metal frame. Perhaps I'll even box it in. Now, you can see on the top of the battery, it says 270 ampere hours. That means that if we run two of the LED strip lamps and maybe a fridge, we'll get about probably 10 hours of use off grid just from the energy stored within this battery. Now, that is pretty impressive, but should the next owner decide to add a little bit more electrical equipment or just have longer time off the grid, they can just add batteries and the system, rather cleverly, will just cope with it automatically.